Welcome to the cloud. Welcome to the show, I'm your host Dan Young and yes, we are here to showcase more Wellington scenery. We're going to talk about the new look app marketplace, Brooke's very happy about it. We're also going to take a look at the 48 hour hackathon called Explore. We'll be taking a bit more of a look at one of the projects that was built, that's called Hey Zero. And then my main man, Vinny Sanfran, will be talking with Amir Shavat at Slack HQ. Now I know you're all on the edge of your seat waiting to hear about the new marketplace, so here's Brooke with the gist. Hey, I'm Brooke from the Global Ecosystem team, and I'm here to tell you about some sweet changes we've made to our app marketplace. On our app marketplace, you can explore over 500 apps that we have that will really help your small business thrive or your clients' businesses thrive. So first off, if you look at the home screen, you'll notice it's a little bit more brighter and hashtag beautiful. You'll see that you can search by app function or business type. App function purely means, you know, what's a pain point that you're looking to solve? Is it do you need a new inventory solution or point of sale or e-commerce or a list of so much more? And then business type shows you how to um, search based on the industry you're in. So you're in retail, are you in hospo, professional services or even accounting? So say if you clicked on retail, you'll be able to see all of the apps that will really help your retail business thrive. And you can also see there's a new component we've added, which allows you to search by um, app function within that industry. So you can see, you know, what uh, e-commerce solutions we have, point of sale solutions and inventory and time tracking and so much more. So please go to explore our new marketplace. Uh, here's a little video of something that we've prepared earlier. Business is good you could say you have the market sewn up. Now you need a point of sale that syncs seamlessly with your accounts. Easy. Find the perfect fit in Zero's app marketplace. Plug it into Zero. Love it. Booyah, here at Clyde Key, yo. All right, Brooke, thanks a lot. It's great that you guys were able to get the new marketplace across the line, congratulations. To be fair, we have been talking about it for nigh on a year, but awesome you could get it across the line. Now, every year our internal devs take 48 hours out of their normal schedule and build random stuff. Let me say that again. They take 48 hours out of building features for you and me to build whatever the hell they like. The only catch is they need to present it to the rest of Zero. It is pretty cool. Now we've taken some footage of the latest 48 hour Explore Hackfest. Let's check it out. The Explore Day is all about getting our developers to try and find new challenges and new ways of solving problems. It is a really great way for them to express their creativity. Do what it says, explore, find the boundaries of what it is that they can do with the, the tools that they have at their disposal. So that is what it is all about. They are a diverse range of problems that all require creative thinking in order to be able to get to the end of it. Our Explorer was about uh, finding food trucks in Wellington, I, we all love eating. Um, the great thing about Explore Wellington and probably every other Explorer is that uh, you get fed constantly. So yesterday we had pizzas and this morning for breakfast we had leftover pizzas. <laughs> and yeah, it was great. Ah. Oh hey, awesome. Explore. It's a really cool initiative. It's great yeah, developers get to do stuff like that. It keeps them fresh, keeps the innovation going, which is awesome. Um, one thing I'm a bit worried about though is the application process because it appears that Adam and Nick got to, uh, got to build something for Explore. Interesting. Joke's on me though because actually the product they built is really awesome. It's called Hey Zero and now they're with us to have a chat about it. Oh, we're on air now. Okay. Uh, thanks, Dan. Uh, yeah, that uh, Zero Explore hackathon was awesome fun. Uh, and I'm here with one of my teammates from the Hey Zero team to shamelessly plug the project that we were working on. Uh, we didn't quite win, but uh, you know we're not better about that, are we, Nick? Better luck next time. Mm. 
Um, so what we built was called Hey Zero. It's basically a Slack bot for Zero um, because let's face it, bots are so hot right now. Um, it's a simple integration, I guess, built using Hubot and uh, the Slack and Zero APIs. Um, and we just were sort of aiming that problem about trying to, to access your accounting data with some natural language, right, Nick? That's right. So uh, Hey Zero was actually incredibly awesome to work on. We only got to work on it for 24 hours, but we spent actually most of our time setting up our tests. That was actually the, the, the hard bit. So what we found is it's actually really easy to take very simple question that a person would want to know, like uh, how much money is in my bank accounts? Um, who owes me the most money? Um, turn that into a question we could then just ask the API, format those res uh, that resulting data into something easy to display to a person, and voila. Um, it's just a very exciting space, just the, the teeny tiny gap between what you can easily do with an API and the way a person would want to ask a question. Yeah, cool. And um, it was yeah, just a bit of fun project for us, but we actually think it could be of, of use to some devs out there if they want to, to pick it up and run with it themselves. So uh, it's up on GitHub, isn't it, Nick? Yep. Just search for Hey Zero. Uh, we've got some pull requests open from the community at the moment, so there'll be a, a number of new uh, requests that we'll be doing very soon. Yeah, cool. So get on to GitHub and uh, check it out. Back to you, Dan. Thanks, Adam. Thanks, Nick. Great you could take some time out of your animated GIF schedule to talk to us about Hey Zero. Now, if you too want to build against the Slack API, you can visit api.slack.com. It's a great portal and it has everything you need. Now, don't take my word for it. My buddy Vince caught up with my main man, Amir Shavat, developer evangelist at Slack HQ. He's talking to him a little bit about how to integrate with Slack and also about what they do for their developers in their developer community. So, Let's see if Vince got a free lunch. Thanks, Dan. So we're actually on our way to Slack's offices right now to talk about their Slack bots and their developer ecosystem. And to give you a little background, Zero had an internal hackathon, and one of the teams actually built a Slack bot called Hey Zero. And it does really cool stuff. It hooks up to Zero's API. And uh, if you type straight into Slack, for example, uh, what are some of my bills coming up? The, the Slack bot will actually hit Zero's API, pull back a list of bills for you to pay, and display it right in Slack for you. And uh, so it's a really cool bot, and uh, hopefully we get a free lunch out of it. Let's go. Hey guys, so I'm joined here by Amir Shavat, who runs developer relations at Slack. It'd be great to know uh, what Slack does and what you do at Slack. OK. Um, so my name is Amir Shavat. Uh, I lead developer relations in Slack. Um, Slack is a communication tool for teams. Um, but it's much more than that. It's a platform for developers to build cold integrations into. Uh, so you'll be able to use Slack as your command center for all your tools and services that you use for work, uh, and be able to talk to your friends and teammates, but also uh, to services in your life. But I wanted to ask you, if you were to envision an integration between Slack and Zero, where do you see an integration taking place? Is that really kind of the limit of it, like just bots? Or do you see any other uh, possible integrations there? So I think there's a lot of opportunity for integrations. It could be something that uh, having a channel that says, here's the accounting channel, and pipe information into that, like a weekly report or a monthly report. That, that would be awesome. Um, then again, coming back to slash commands, you can run a report or run an activity using a slash command. Um, finally, like you did, which is awesome, is having a bot where you can actually converse with it. And having your, like your accounting personal assistant, I think that's a great, great use case, uh, all these interactions connected into something that is installable for all teams, like a Slack app, is something that I would love to see. Yeah, Awesome. Yeah, I think we would all love to see that. Um, I was wondering what Slack does to engage their community and their developers and really promote uh, the ecosystem and the API. OK. So first of all, we're very committed to working with a lot of uh, developers and partners, from the big partners all the way to the indie developers. Uh, the way we do it is we think about how can we move the de developers and help them move from being aware to being proficient, to being from being proficient to actually building something, so being uh, successful, uh, all the way to actually like being able to have a lot of people use their, their innovation. So we think of it, we think of it from that angle. Uh, we also do community events. Uh, so we help developers help each other. 
Uh, we uh, engage with developers in our uh, in Slack, in the Slack uh, Dev for Slack. There's a community uh, Slack uh, organization. Um, we do uh, technical writing. Uh, we do partner meetings like we do with you. Uh, so there's a lot of ways that we engage with our uh, developers, and we're always looking for new ways. After this meeting, I'm going to do a uh, breakfast with a few bot uh, <laughs> builders here in San Francisco. So we're always thinking about new and exciting ways to help and engage our developers. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, that's great to hear. Um, well, I wanted to uh, thank Amir for his time and uh, talking to us about Slack's ecosystem and the platform. Thank you. And uh, back to you, Dan. Where have you been, man? Dude, I'm like 30 minutes late. That's nothing. And I've got to catch them all, right? Oh my gosh, you are addicted. There's a gym down there. I had to. <laughs> thank you, Vince and Amir, for your awesome segment on Slack. Awesome to hear about your ecosystem and what you guys are doing with your developers. Speaking of ecosystems, Brooke. Mm -hmm. What's new on ours? So you would have seen, obviously, in this episode that we've launched our new app marketplace, and it's really taken off, so we're really um, proud and stoked with that. Uh, we've also got a few new ecosystem partners, well, actually quite a few, so I can't even mention them all. Um, but you'll see that Power BI have, have launched their integration with us, Microsoft Power BI, and they actually got Ecosystem Partner of the Month this month because they've done a fantastic job getting that across the line, and it's really grown um, exponentially really quickly. Um, we've had T-Sheets join, so that's a great time tracking um, tool that you can get in our marketplace. Um, and then in this side of the world, we've had Serco and Paper join. So Serco is a travel management app, and Paper is revolutionizing um, receipts by removing them and making sure it goes straight from, say, the FPOS machine um, into your phone, which is awesome. Okay. Now, I'll stop you right there, because um, uh -uh. the sun is right <laughs> in so my awkward. eyes. So just, uh, just take these off you there. Okay. Give these a go. Okay, awesome. Oh, looking right. fab. We're good. Yeah. And we've got some other cool things coming yep. up. Um, Xerocon, San Fran, and Brisbane. Yep. Um, what can our partners expect from that? Yeah, so Xerocon, San Fran. Can you expect me to be there? I'm Ooh. quite excited. Hopefully you're awesome. coming too. Yeah, hopefully. And, then, um, and so, yeah, there's hundreds, if not thousands, of accountants and bookkeepers there that go along to learn about you know, what's happening in Xero, what's the latest, and then also to meet with you know, the exhibitors we have, which are you guys, the um, ecosystem partners, and really get to know what your business is about. So I really encourage you to be there and really you know, like make the most of those accountants and bookkeepers and getting them to aware of your products and then also, um, you know, learning from them and, you know, getting that customer feedback. Fantastic. Be great. All right. Thanks a lot, Brooke. Awesome to have you on the show again. And um, it's about all that we've got time for today. Um, but uh, next time we're going to have uh, Sid. Oh, thank you. Uh, we're going to have Sid in San Francisco talking about his OAuth primer, dispelling a few myths, which will be fun. Um, and also we'll share some footage from the Zero Cons in San Francisco and probably Brisbane as well. So make sure you send your Ask Zero API questions through to our Twitter handle. And until next time. You make me do this, eh? Oh, yeah. All right. Um, oh, say hi to your motherboard for me, from me, for me. That'll yeah. do. Yeah. All right. See you yeah. next time. Bye. Eight years away. History tells us that uh, six minutes is the longest people actually stay on the video for. But congratulations for getting to the end. If you want to see more of me, then take a look at our previous episodes and subscribe down below. Cheers! And blah, 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 blah.